Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Have you ever been rummaging around Lightroom and you've stumbled across this little spray can down here and wondered what the heck is that all about? Well, that's called the Painter Tool. And in this video, I'm going to explain what it does and how to use it. Okay, the Painter Tool is in Lightroom in the library module and it'll only show up when you're in grid view. So to be in grid view, you could just hit the G key on your keyboard for grid view, or you could click this little icon over here. Now, once you're in grid view, it's down here in the toolbar. If you don't see the toolbar, hit the T key on your keyboard. It will toggle the toolbar off and on. Furthermore, it may not be there because you have it hidden. To make sure it shows up, go to the far right hand side in this little downward facing triangle, click on that and make sure Painter has a check mark next to it. Once you do all that, you'll see it shows up right here. And what the Painter tool allows you to do is apply an adjustment to a bunch of images all at once. For this example, I have this a group of images. It's a mix of zoo images of primates and some wildlife birds. Now, I want to apply some settings to these uh, images, all like en masse. Now, what I want to do, for me at least, what I feel more comfortable doing it, is I want them all shown. So I'm going to go to this slider over here and just move it to the left so we could see them all. Now, I will activate the Painter tool by just clicking on it. Now, once you do that, you'll see there's a little drop down here. And I could change some attributes of each of these images. For example, you could add keywords. You could change the or add a color label to the image. You could flag them either unflagged, rejected, or picked. You could give them a star rating. You could edit some metadata. You could uh, change settings. So you could actually do some processing to the images with any presets you may have. You could rotate them, so if you have a bunch of images that need to be rotated, you could do that en masse real fast. Or you could add them to a target collection. I'll talk about that more in a moment. Now let's just say I want to uh, change the rating. So we'll go to rating, and you can see right here to the right of that, now we have these kind of uh, five periods. So I'll click on the last one, and then now we have five stars. So I'm going to give all of these five star ratings. Now you can see my cursor is the paint tool. All right. So what we'll do is we'll go to the top left hand corner and I'm on this image here and I'm going to just press the left mouse button. And as soon as I do, you'll see down here, these five dots, dots will turn into five stars. And I'm just going to leave the left mouse button pressed in and I'm just going to go like this to the right and I'll come down here and go to the left. And you can see I am spraying five stars on every single image. So you could go very, very quickly. Let's do another setting. Let's add some keywords. Um, okay, some of these are zoo images and some of them are wildlife images. So I'm going to add zoo. So anything that's a zoo image, I'm going to add the keyword zoo. Now, some of them have keywords already. See this gorilla here has gorilla and primate added to it already. So I want to add zoo to that because it's a zoo image. So I'm going to click there. That's a zoo image there. Now that's a wildlife image or it's not a zoo image. So I'm going to skip that one. So I'll click there. So you don't have to hold the left mouse button in and drag. You could just simply click once, go to the next image that your setting applies to and keep doing it. So I'm going to go to all the zoo images and just keep clicking. And if I have a group that are in a row, I could do that. Like this whole row are zoo images here. And that's a zoo image and that's a zoo image. Now I could do the same thing, let's say, and change the keyword to wildlife if I wanted to, and then do all the birds, let's say, or I could call them, I could just change the keyword to bird and do that as well. But, uh, but for the sake of this argument, I think you understand what that does. Um, label, I could give them a color label if I wanted to, just click on it and I could add a color label. Um, we could give them all a flag. Let's in this case, let's flag them all. So we're gonna give them all a white flag and just you could start anywhere. I'll start in the lower right hand corner and just go this way and you could see we're adding flags to all the images. And if you miss one, just double check that you caught them all and you're good to go. Uh, what else do we want to do? Oh, 
We did the rating. Okay, metadata. I uh, mentioned many times in my videos that when I import images into Lightroom, I use what I call an import preset that gets applied to the uh, image. And all the import preset is, it's not a develop preset. It doesn't do any processing to the image. What it does, it just adds all my copyright info, including my name and address. And it also includes um, uh, like a, a website info. So someone who has an image and they want to look what my copyright is, they could go to this web page and it will show it. So all that is in my import preset. There are, it's already applied to these images because I do it on import, so I don't need to do it. Uh, settings, this is where you could actually apply one of your develop presets to it. So if I wanted to turn all these into the whatever develop preset is called black and white feelings, I could go across there. You could click the drop down though, and you could go to any of your presets, your develop presets that you happen to have. Uh, let's see, rotation. I mentioned that if your image needs to be rotated, you could do it, uh, rotate them clockwise, counterclockwise, or flip them horizontal or vertically. And finally, a targeted collection. Um, by default, up here in the library module Lightroom under catalog, you see quick collection right there. It has zero images in it right now. Uh, if you want to add images to a quick collection, um, there's a number of ways you could do that. The way I typically do it is I just, without the painter tool, I would go on an image and see that little circle right there. I would click there. And if you watch now, quick collection has zero in it. That's the targeted collection because it has that little plus sign on it. Now, if I go to this image and I just click this little circle, you'll see it added it to that quick collection. Well, I could do all of these very quickly with the painter tool. So we'll just go targeted collection. And uh, now you'll watch as I spray, this number is going to be going higher and higher and higher because they're all going to get added to that quick collection just like that so very cool uh one real quick if you are doing a keyword uh it doesn't overwrite any keywords you already have it will just add whatever keyword you're adding to the end of it you could add more than one keyword just down here uh, when you go to keywords uh, if i wanted to add zoo and let's say animal just separate it by economy a comma and then add the second keyword third keyword and so on so a space and a comma or comma and a space i should say and you could add keywords very quickly uh, to the images uh, as you're using the painter tool so the painter tool uh, probably the least used tool in lightroom but a lot of people find it useful that are often doing things on mass they've got to i don't know you know add a preset to a bunch of images it, very easy way to do it. Um, where I think it's more applicable is if you're adding a preset, but you're skipping some images in the grid. So I'm adding a preset to all this column except that one, and all this column except that one, and so on. So you could do it uh, relatively quickly. Um, adding keywords, like I mentioned, I add the, 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 the animals that were in a zoo, I added the keyword zoo. If I want to add a keyword bird to the uh, bird images, I could do that, whatever. So it's a tool that's in Lightroom, maybe not for everyone. I know I never use it, but I do know at least one person that uses it occasionally. So maybe that's you as well. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.